Hello YouTube friends, welcome to the Red Parrot channel. I am your host Mary Ellen. This is an episode of Craft With Me where I am working on the scruffy scrappy gift bag journal that looks currently eh, like this. This is kind of where we're at. So um, what have I been up to since we last saw each other which was about 24 hours ago? Um, so I, so, hmm, I wrote down some, uh, sites that I keep on wanting to refer to, can never remember, and so now I've written them down, so that's progress of one kind. <clears throat> uh, Nancy at Wishes and Weeds did a, uh, a postcard craft mm, journal card thing where she used a template like this with the purposes of using these as uh, watercolor swatches and then she put a focal point on top and so one of the things that I have done is created that template so that's progress of a kind when I was doing this I created these, which are the little cutouts that go from here. And I thought to myself, ooh, I'm going to sneeze. Hang on. Pardon me. Oh, oh, pardon me. Oh, heavens. I might do it again. <laughs> pardon me. Heavens. What a lot of startling development so early so back where I was and so I cut out had to cut out these and these look to me is it in here maybe well I've got one anyways this is a Tim Holtz piece of uh ephemera and I thought ooh, and it's it's slightly thinner than this but it's the right size and so I have thoughts that if we could take something that was this uh like do a um a collage board and then cut them up into small bits as opposed to large tag bits we could have a we could have a craft uh also possibly not what i'm going to do today but uh we're putting pins in these so that at some point we will have uh something to do because heaven forbid we shouldn't have anything to do okay now i have to go blow my nose because i've been sneezing pardon me yet again my goodness sakes Uh, by my Kleenex box, I have my, my, I have two, um, journals, not journals so much as day timers that keep me on, uh, very important routines that keep me well and safe and not a huge surprise to anybody. I use stickers a lot as a motivating, uh, tool as well as a decorative and if um, keeping track of things is fun and pretty, I am far more likely to do it. Uh, washi tape, the washi tape store is one of the places where I like to purchase washi tape because it's pretty and I like it. Uh, their latest, not sponsored, is uh, this. And I got it because it's very mappy related, very travel related, and that looks really yummy to me and so uh this would be kind of if i picked the right one would be amazing so we reserve the right 
at some point during the proceedings today of picking one or two of these and doing a proof of concept for that. Okay, doke, smoke, poke. Where are we at? What do we need to do? So, um, there and there. Okay, so that's the inside. This is the outside. And one of the things that I realized is this was supposed to be on the inside, but I changed the way I folded this. So this is now the back outside. And I think it deserves some covering. So maybe that's one of the things that we do. And I had, I think this piece, that would be kind of fun and funky. As just sort of a, a hide. Uh, what else do we have? We have, oh, hmm. this. This fits a whole lot better, but not really. I suppose we could make, <coughs> pardon me, make it a little bit more stable. <coughs> Golly, I am just full of noise today. How about this? I'm looking at this yellow, and this is yellow that comes from Cindy at Studio Lou. I think this is part of a, why do I think it's part of a Christmas package? Possibly because it's part of a Christmas package. But that would be a good outside and then have that as a flip up. Well, that's maybe what I should do. Because I need it sturdy because it's going to be on the outside. And the natural um, kind of uh, embossing that's happened as a result of the dyeing makes that a little bit more rugged. So let's, let's, let's do that. Right off the hop. Um, probably we should do it that way. Okay, and then how wide is this? <clears throat> three and a half, three and three quarters, three and three quarters. Oh, and I got a new glue stick. That's pretty exciting. Is this one almost done? Uh, we're in the process. Okay. Hey, that was a long, long storied way to get the first piece of paper cut. There we are. Just like that. And then three and three quarters on this side. There's going to be just the hair. Here have a bit of a trim, but then it will be square. There we are. Then this should come down to here, which it does. Oh, I like this better. That's better. And then to about there, we could do the whole thing. And we could do the whole thing. Uh, found some pencils. <clears throat> to keep with my journaling spot. Uh, 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 there. Okay. speaking, I should be able to take that out, glue that with a scored top, and then punch a -roo. So let's do the punch a first. Um, and size is this? Is this the one? Eh, ish. 
really want to do. Oh. Front here. Yep, that's right. There. And there. And then, what do I want to do? I want to create some kind of a, <clears throat> a fold that allows this flap to go up easily. Gonna be and then we're gonna glue it down like that and then that can flop out and then flap down and then this uh does it need to be flattened does it need to be reinforced we're not going to it'll be fine it will be fine and we'll make a little bit of a delineation though Upside down. And the reason why I folded it like that, oh, I should probably, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Just do a little bit on the front. It's a visual sense of, there's a line there. That's the inside, that's the inside. Where are we at here? I'm going to say that this is getting really close to being done. Okay, there's that. Put that there. there ish flip that over give that a match up straight straight ish oh that's all right so it's cool today not it looks nice or it did um but not warm enough not satisfactory warm enough to go and be outside so that's a bummer and uh, i don't know how you will pop that up Okay, so I don't think I have any, no I don't. Mm. It's always nice when I can come to the, the table and have things tucked over underneath that are already works in progress to give me the sense of, oh hey, you know what, practically finished. Okay, so we did that. Um, oh, I know. 
two things I wanted to try today. One. Where might the other be? Well, we'll do this one first. So recall that I did a, a, a lengthy process where I did the fold over and it wouldn't fit. Oh, this is not going to fit either particularly well. Huh. Well, at least we didn't invest a whole lot of time in it. So that's something. But I was going to do like a... Do, not, not on here, but maybe on one of these pages. Like something like that. That would be a perfect spot for it. Could I trim it down enough? Not really. Yeah, never mind. We could make one though. Oh! So this is my little English, French, French, English uh, dictionary that has since uh, broken in two because I did a lot of painting and water dissolved the center. And I'm going to need this for the French journal. And we might as well try a proof of concept here. And so my proof, my what I would like to do is like create paper or a page or something. on this page that I thought would be fun. So there, and that goes to there. So it's about there. That's where the overlap should be. Okay, so theoretically, here's what we're gonna do. A little bit of glue, oops. A bit more than that. There we are. Okay. Let's try that. So now we have a larger piece of paper. Oh, and I love that we have that bit there. So that could go down there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oops, <laughs> gotta put it right side up. We could do that. Let's, oh, yes, let's. I have a better relationship now, well, relationship, uh, with stickers and sticker books. I don't know if you're, if you've seen the ones at Michael's where you can buy like whole, like books, thematic books. I had a bunch of those and I never used them. And I think I collected them because they were pretty. And once you can start using the stickers and just saying, okay, we're just going to use it like we're doing right now, uh, life is good. Because then you're using your stickers. And that's kind of why you, why I bought them anyways. Oh, is that not fabulous? Okay, and so this can be, what can this be? Um, we need something that's like a blank-ish sheet, like a writable sheet. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Let's see what we have. Oh, we've got some more of this. Oh! Okay. 
Now I am deliberately going to cut this smaller than the words, uh, meaning that the width of the paper is going to be less than edge to edge of the print so that I can see the print as a border. So edge to edge, that's uh, probably two and five eighths. So we can do, well, where's two and five eighths first? That's two and five eighths, so two and three eighths, let's say. Oh, we need to do a little bit of scraping too. And I'm almost certain this was me. It's gonna be unpleasant if we hit a speed bump. Well, that's just fun. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, 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 okay. Glue. There's no good baseball on tonight, and by good I mean my team. So I am either going to settle for somebody else's baseball, or what I might do is wander into the painting area and do some more painting. I am participating periodically in Cindy at Studio Lou's um, Mayhem, Mar May Mayhem, Junk, junk Journal Mayhem. Wow, uh, it took me a while. And I am using the prompts to create more painty pages, more paper, because I like that. And I think she would approve. I did not hit the edges particularly well, but that's okay. Oh, that back. Scissors. And I think today's <clears throat> theme is leaf or leaves. And I have a huge abundance of um, purple violet everywhere. And, oh, Okay, yeah, we're all right. Nope, we do that. So how far over do we get to go? We get to go kind of like to there. Uh, what was my point? My point was uh, the violet leaves will make lovely printable leaf prints, I think. Still making sure that it's right side up. And it is. And scooch that over. Okay. 
there. And I want to take just a little. Can I get it in there? Yes, I can. There's little spots where I didn't hit the edge properly. is full of something. And I feel like this should be a, a flippy outie as well. And if it's going to be a flippy outie, need a little bit, a little bit of something, something. Let's do that. Uh -oh. I just heard trouble jump down from somewhere. She might float her way over. I'm not sure. It's under. Yep. It's under. There. Set for height. Lose a little bit of the bottom and a little bit of the top. And I don't need it perfectly ripped. At least cut squared. Because I'm flexible that way. <laughs> that. This is the one I want. And we want to do that. So we're making a hinge. edge, the edgy edge. There. We can do that, or we can do it high. High, high, high. So if I forget to put the flap down, that spot will allow me to not have it floating up to the top. So that's, I think, where I want to put that. There is a certain amount of delight that I have. Everybody gets something different from uh, journaling, and that's because we're all different human beings, and that's totally okay. One of the things that I love is engineering and math, and precision, and so on and so forth. And there's an itch that gets scratched when I can do this kind of designing, I guess, or engineering. So like I said, if I forget to put the flap down, it's not going to interrupt with the usage of the book. And that kind of delights me. So now we need a card for that. Um, and a mushroomy natural theme would be in order, I think. Leafy or something. Oh yeah, this was the queen head one, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, haven't done anything with it. So, squirrel. Hmm. Focus, focus. Focus, focus. Meh. Could use a card though. I did that. How about that? Maybe. Maybe. I don't have a focal point. 
let's see what we have. Let's see what we have in the boxy box. Oh, I was looking for that. It's another card bit that we might be able to use. Um, there's some things. So it's a natural. Natural theme. We're just pulling out stuff. Oh, it's got a mushroom on it. Oh, yep, that's... Sometimes you have to just accept that that's what the universe has told you to do. top of that the bottom of that would that fit yes it would you live your life right sometimes okay let's get this out of the way you kind of know where we're going careful don't want to drop that okay so we're just gonna scotch that up a bit I'm working on the idea of a, um, I don't know what to call this, a method maybe for not being overwhelmed. People who've been with me for a while know I have some mental health issues for the, anybody new, uh, great circle of care, everything is generally under control. Uh, healing is happening as it should literally nothing to worry about um and so some of the things that get me overwhelmed are too many decisions too much stuff um and let's stop there because i think what we are trying what i am trying to solve is how do i keep enjoying myself journaling while at the same time not being overwhelmed and because there are so many choices in the world of junk journaling uh, materials techniques whatever that can be debilitating if you don't have uh, a happy brain and the process of doing the round robin taught me something really important and that is it is an absolute delight to have a little bit of something and no more and just go figure out what to do with that little bit so i need to find ways of being able to replicate a little bit in my own journaling practice so that I don't get overwhelmed and that I can keep going with some kind of regularity. So it's a long winded way of saying I'm trying to figure out how to curate uh, that sort of randomness without uh, asking my 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 <laughs> my two partners in crime hey can you bundle up a daily thing for me to drill uh in perpetuity because i think their answer is going to be uh i'd love to but no y'all gotta go figure that out mary ellen you gotta figure that out on your own much as they would love they would love to help but it takes a tr uh it takes time 
and they have other things to do. So I need to find a way to do that myself. And I think I'm, I'm slowly getting there. Um, Cindy's Tuesday Tens is a really great uh, suggestion, I guess, for how to do that. Because she has a, um, a bin, and then she dips into that bin periodically. Oh, it's three inches. What do you know? It's like somebody planned it that way. Uh, and she dips into that bin to do, you know, pulls out 10 things and then uses those 10 things as a, as her sort of inspiration for the, the Tuesday 10. Check to see if this will go in, and then come out. It will go in, it will come out. Should do all of the corners. There. And so I'm trying to figure out how to do that kind of thing for myself. And so, and that's as far as I've gotten in the solution. So I don't have like a, ta-da, here's a conclusion. But the, uh... okay, we're stopping because I've lost the bit that goes on here. I have not stood up. So it should be within my realm. Not there, okay. We can do this in a calm and orderly fashion. It's not there. That's from the same strip, but it's not it. Okay, so I must have put it in here somewhere. So this bin is something that I sort of found from Christmas that is just enough bits and pieces. I don't need to search or, oh, I need the perfect thing. Um, I might be going for more glue or a particular uh, punch, but the actual ephemera material is already sort sorted. And I think there is a thing that people do that is kit making. So they'll, you know, cull through their stash and say, okay, I want to you know, get me all the tulips or, you know, get me all the automobiles. And then they put those aside, pick, her out a pick out a color scheme, and then off they go. Okay, where did it go? Nuts! Oh, hang on. Well, they fell out of the journal. That's not what I need. Oh, come on. Well, we're going to have to... Wait for it to turn up, I think. That's what we're going to do, because we're not going to hold up the proceedings that long. That's a bummer, though. And if you know where it is, I, I wish you could yell just a hair louder, because I still can't hear you. But that's how that's going to go in. Now, where did I put those? Put those in some kind of a, not that pocket, must be on this side. Where are we here? I'm all lost. Aicha mama. Okay. Finish that. This should go here, I think. Oh, I should probably do a hinge down there as well, because I just realized that I'm going to make a make a mistake. Right there. Or. I think there's no, I think it's probably here. Okay. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. I have many not pleases with that. 
up. What doing? What doing? So, what are we going to do next? Let us play with those then. Um, it's just me processing, letting it go. I need to let it go, let it go, let it go. So this, I think, would be a nice, narrow uh, card, and I think we can do a nice, narrow envelope with it, too. So let's do some trimming. I do hope I didn't throw it out. This idea of curation as well, and um, making a journal. Uh, the industry of journal making supplies do a really great job at creating desire so we will buy things and that's absolutely within their right and that's what they get paid to do uh oh, let's put a piece of paper because that's uh maybe the page yeah, sure why not I think what I need to do is use the high test glue though. Oops. Because I don't trust that as a thing that's gonna um, properly adhere. So if you bought, if I bought, because this is about me, and you do whatever makes you happy, whatever floats your boat. This is not a, uh, a slight or a slam. It is uh, observation from my own practice. If you get a pad of paper, you can get a lot of paper in one go. Like 50 sheets, maybe? Depending on if it's... Uh, I was going to say paper, paper, or um, cardstock. And then you think about how much paper, paper you need to make a journal. Mm. I'm going to do that. There we are. Just plunk it down. And it does not equate. For instance, it would you can make way more than one journal with a single paper pack. And sadly, I have a pile of paper packs. I mean, this is, you know, like I said, if there's any question who this is about, it's really about me and my own talking, talking it through. So I really don't need a lot of paper. And further to that, I submit to the court that probably do that too. I'll cut it in half. I could rip it in half. Cut it in half. Uh, what was I going to say? I will, um, I make paper. Like this paper is just a uh, straight like photocopy paper that's uh, painty papered. And I really enjoy making paper. So I further reduce the speed at which I am consuming whatever paper pack I purchase. Again, not for any purposes other than to just observe my own behavior. Mm, and I don't like that weight. So off 
she goes. It's gonna go bloop right there. And having said that, it is really fun to look at paper packs and to imagine all of the things that you could make. It's an exercise in absolute delight. It is very, very pleasing to a certain part of my brain. But apparently the, the, um, that part of the brain and the brain that is about uh, figuring out how long it would take, now let's make that a little bit bigger, making that gray gap bigger so that there's some visual interest. Uh, that it's like, well, how long are you gonna, how long is it gonna take you to use all that up? Doesn't talk to the part of the brain is that's saying, oh, isn't this pretty? And shouldn't we have some? I don't know what I'm talking about. Disregard. Here we are. There, ta -da. So I can either do it that way or I can do it that way. And I think that's a better way. I was very pleased to find this. My periodic cleaning up absolutely uncovers all the exciting things. So I am confident, ooh, let's do this one, that that little bit of mushroom is going, it is going to show up. Oh, I love that. Here we are. That black line is kind of bothersome. So we'll Some kind of reason. Oh, uh, burp, 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 burp. I don't know that this is going to cut. Mm, nope, it will not. So we're going to do a, a Rachel trim. focal point but it's a great base I'm happy with it very big pause I'm going to march over here. By march, I mean just walk gently. Oh! I spy with my little eye. Oops, I just moved it. Well, 100 cat toys is one of the things I just spied. Look at that. It fell. And I just couldn't see it. So, lesson is I should stand up and look on the floor. Stand up, not move my, in, not just sit here and survey. So, uh, this is my 
massive uh, bin o' birds and fussy cut flowers. That would be fun. So I need something that's very tall. Ooh, that's drama. This is the Medieval Mirage. Hmm. Oh dear. Well, you know what? Welcome to the additions. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Another yellow. It's kind of gray. Mm. Too dark. That's, uh, we're not going to audition all of them, so fear not that I've just taken this whole thing out. We're going to flip through. Maybe that? Not tall enough. I think that gray is probably best. That's what we're going to go with, anyways. Oh, we better pitter patter. Let's get at her because we're at 52 minutes. It took forever yesterday to upload. It didn't help that I was wandering all over. So I need to just clean up some of this fussy cutting. I think when I first started doing these fussy cuttings that I didn't really know what I was doing. Well, I mean, when do I ever? But I'm certainly I have a better sense of it now. There we are. So there. And now, background is only a background because it's a background, so we need to have something that's going to kick it up. Mm. We've 
got some of this already being used. I want the French. The French. Oops, that's, you know what? This is what we need. Oops, oops. Here. Now, how did this, what's this? These lines here are interesting. Gonna brown that up a bit. And a when you kind of crumple the paper and then you keep doing the smoothing, you get an irregular look to it that I find satisfying. There we are. Oh, and then we're gonna cover it all up, but that's okay. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. There. There. And then this. So we're going to put that aside and we need to find the bit where that goes just so that we could all have completion before the hour is up. Now I'm going to go find the thing that it's supposed to go on to. Good luck with that. Yep, here we are. Bada boom, bada binga. Uh, nope. Yep. I was about to do the outlining with the glue stick. Not ideal. There. And what do I want to do? I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. I kind of like that. I like the border. That's why. And I want to get rid of sound is Gracie using her scratch, scratch pad, which means that she's waking up for whatever mayhem she could <laughs> get away with. Hey babes, Mr. Dunes. Okay. Don't know if you heard that. That was definitely a, an audible Okay, all right, we're nearly done. Okay. Yes, I know I'm hurrying. Goodness, what a boss. What a bossy girl you are. Oops. Okay, here we are. That's all right there. Okay. 
I don't want to do that. Just like that. Is it straight? Straightish? Straightish is probably good enough. There, that's going to pop into there. Oops, oops, oops. Just like that. That's going to go like that. And there we are. And that is uh, slightly over an hour. Hopefully the YouTube uh, uploady fairies will be kind to me. Um, speaking of be kind, be very good to yourself. Stay out of trouble. Thanks so much for keeping me company through this uh, and my rambles. Uh, love you lots and I'll see you soon. Bye now.